Class 2023, man. Love y'all. Y'all gonna do great. Uh, just try to keep in touch with everybody, you know. I had a good ride with you guys. Love you. Great job, guys. Keep on going. New chapter. Let's go. <laughs> I have to say is we finally did it, Class of 2023, and I'm so proud of us. Love you all. My name is Brady. Congratulations, Class of 2023. Let's go, Lippers! Congratulations, guys. We did it. Yes, up, uh, boys. We made it. Uh, one word of advice to you guys is to always do what you love and make sure you do the best you can every day to perfect it. Love you boys. Have fun, don't do drugs. We made it, yeah. We made it, motherfucker!
princess and we had gone lip sync that whole year and everybody like my whole class just came out that year so it was very awesome to start our high school career chapter you know if i could tell the rest of my class anything i'd say good luck in the future don't get distracted by useless stuff and yeah just do your best man you'll figure it out Sorry, Hi, my name is Ethan Santos. I'm a graduating senior and the senior class president from Milani High School. Alright, we're gonna jump straight into this, man. I'm quick question. I'm curious, what does having graduated high school mean to you? I think graduating high school really just means that it is a step into our future. It's like the first step without our hand being held. And we've been preparing this entire our entire life for this moment basically. I love that answer, that's really good. Now, when you receive a diploma, how do you imagine that feeling is? When you walk up on stage, they hand that thing to you and they, your name gets called? Honestly, right now, like, it hasn't hit me that I'm graduating and I'm gonna be like a full-on adult and all that. But when I finally get that diploma, I think it really is gonna hit that, like, this is my life now and like, I'm actually the one in charge of it, pretty much. That's pretty good. Most like that's stuff they don't teach you to do. Yeah. Now what song will always remind you of like this time of your life? Ooh. I think uh, one the half of our class song, we did a mashup, so the second half somewhere over the rainbow I think is a good representation of our life and what's to come basically. Then on behalf of the class, you got any final words you want to say to any of your faculty and staff? So my faculty and staff, thank you for leading me and helping me lead uh, the class of 2023 to this finish line. I really couldn't have been here without you guys, especially a lot of my teachers, like Mr. Maroka for teaching me uh, everything psychology, because that's what I want to pursue in the future. And just all of my other teachers and my advisor, especially Ms. Markson, thank you for putting up with me for the past four years. Uh, yeah, you're finally free. You don't have to advise any more classes. Thank you so much. Now, I got two more questions for you. One is, um, what any significant events during your high school career or the senior year that was just like, oh crap, I would have lived that again or that was cool? Honestly, like, homecoming week was really fun. Like, we had a whole bunch of people show up and show out. The homecoming pep rally, lip sync, everything. It was just like really serene. It was like such a good time. Uh, and now it might be the second fourth question again, but like that final quote, some advice you give to all of your class, like what you guys do. My final quote is just always pursue happiness before anything. Like success isn't defined by all of the things that you accomplish in your life to come, but more of the happy moments that you experience and the people that you love that are around you. Thank you.